Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful Sunday afternoon here in the end times. It is Sunday, March 20th, 2022. I think it is the first day of spring. First day of spring, it might be the last day of winter, but right in there. We're going to call it the first day of spring, this absolutely gorgeous Sunday afternoon where, you know, I could be out planet nibbling, I could be taking the little dog for a walk, I could be out kayaking, uh, taking a drive through the beautiful countryside of the oasis of freedom, and here I sit for day well, counting Thursday, I guess is the fourth day, sitting here being an invalid. I'm, I'm sitting here reading uh, the invitation to join AARP and all the advantages of uh, just throwing in the fucking towel, admitting I am a doomed, drooling old fart and uh, associating with other uh, doomed, drooling old farts. So while I cogitate, while I, my head spins with cabin fever boredom and uh, I cogitate whether or not to uh, join AARP, just checking in with the mainstream media and uh, we're going to put this one on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. All right, from Reuters News, we're going to go to Sub-Saharan Africa, particularly the former paradise of Madagascar, the hellhole, the seething, this yuck hellhole, former paradise of Madagascar. Quote, a green island turns red, Madagascans struggle through long drought. And yes, Madagascar's, I think it's Malagasy's. But anyway, whatever you want to call these guys, I call them planet nibblers. Uh, all right. With precious few trees left to slow the wind, in this once fertile corner of southern Madagascar, red sand is blowing everywhere onto fields, villages, and roads, and into the eyes of children waiting for food aid. Huh, what a surprise. Four years of drought, the worst in decades, along with deforestation caused by people burning or cutting down trees to make charcoal or to open up more land for farming have transformed the area into a dust bowl. Okay, we are now going to uh, hear from Mother of Seven, Tarira. This is, we do not know how old the Mother of Seven is, but Reuters News found her standing at a remote World Food Program post. Yes. Where children are checked for signs of malnutrition and given food. Quote, There is nothing to harvest. That is why we have nothing to eat. And we are starving. Said Mother of Seven, Tarira. Yes, more than a million people in southern Madagascar currently need food handouts from the WFP, a United Nations agency. Tarira had brought her four-year-old son, who has been struggling to put on weight, to collect sachets of a peanut-based product known as Plumpy. Plumpy. 
quoting the mother of seven, quote, there are, are seven, meaning seven of her children, there are seven, so there was not enough food. Hmm, the plumpy was not enough for him. Close quote. The plumpy was not enough for him. Like many other mothers of seven in the region, Tarira and her seven children have sometimes been reduced to eating a type of cactus which grows wild but provides little nutritional value and gives stomach pains, she said. Yes, the world's fourth largest island and, well, one at one time, one of its most diverse ecosystem with thousands of endemic species of plants and animals such as lemurs. Madagascar's, Madagascar projects the image of a lush natural paradise, but in parts of it, the reality on the ground has changed. Yes, in parts of it, like 97% of it, I think that 3% of Madagascar's original forests remain. This is Soja Tizmarigalanda, governor of the southern Android region. Quote, we used to call Madagascar the Green Island, but sadly now it is more of a Red Island, said the governor. The food crisis in the south built up over a period of years and has interconnected causes. Oh, shut up. I can't get out of the goddamn chair. I finally figured out how to, uh, to, to figure out how to raise the volume on the goddamn ringer. I was wondering why I was missing so many calls on this fucking smartphone, because I couldn't hear the motherfucker. So after 20 minutes of punching buttons like a chimpanzee, I finally figured out how to raise the volume, and now I cannot get out of my chair to answer the fucking thing. Anywhere, anyway, where was I? The food crisis in the South built up over a period of years and has interconnected causes including drought, you, you know, caused by climate change, caused by too many people on the planet, deforestation, you know, caused by too many people on the planet, environmental damage, you know, caused by too many people on the planet, poverty, you know, caused by too many people on the planet, the corona panic, caused by not enough people getting taken out by the panic, and bringing up the end of the list, population growth. Population growth. One of the interconnected causes. Yes, one of the interconnected causes of why Madagascar has gone from the Green Island to the Red Island. Yes. Now with a population of 30 million. 30 million people. I wonder what the population of Madagascar was uh, 50 years ago. Uh, Anyway, good lord, this shit goes on. Uh, but we're going to close. We're going to go from Mother of Seven, Tarira, to, I, I'm hoping, Father of Zero at this point, Felix. 
for recently married Felix, age 20, who was burning down a wooded area to start cultivating it. The long-term consequences of deforestation were a secondary concern. My guess, the long-term concerns of deforestation to a 20-year-old husband burning down a one of the few remaining patches of forest left in Madagascar to grow more food. My guess, let's see, deforestation, where would it place? Okay, uh, fucking his young wife to start a family is his first concern. Uh, probably fucking his young wife's best friend to start a side meat family was his second concern. Uh, maybe eating, maybe eating, finding food was <clears throat> maybe his third concern. Uh, his fourth concern, I don't know, probably, uh, I, I, I don't know, a, a flat screen TV. Uh, his fifth concern, I don't know, might have been a plague of locusts. His sixth concern was, I don't know, Beyonce's butt. Uh, his seventh concern, I don't know, was, was probably some MTV star. His eighth concern was probably uh, sticking a lemur in the uh, in the stew pot if he was lucky. His ninth concern was I don't know a new pair of Air Jordans. Uh, the long term consequences of deforestation was a s number two concern. 20-year-old Felix. His urgent need, otherwise known as his first concern, was to grow food to feed his young wife so he could fuck her before she starves to death. And his main worry was whether it would finally rain so he could get started fucking his young wife before she died of starvation. Quote, If there is no rain, I don't know what we will do. We'll pray to God. We will pray to God for more rain so God, so God can water the former forest that Felix cut down. Yep, yep, yep. I'm sure God is... Uh, I wonder where Felix is... is, is, is the... is the uh, piece of woodland that Felix cut down? Is that God's first concern? Or is Felix... Uh... Or is Felix's young wife God's first? Is what concern of God's is the 97% of Madagascar that has been deforested? Is it God's second concern? Are the uh, are Tarira's seven children? God's first concern and the 97% of Madagascar that's been deforested, is that God's secondary concern? You know, trying to second guess God. What the fuck is God thinking? What the fuck? Imagine being God. What the fuck is God thinking about on this gorgeous day? I'm thinking about uh, 
trying to pull myself out of this chair and go hobble over to that phone. Probably a call on these boards. I do want you to know I did sell the boards. The boards are disappearing. They should be gone by Tuesday. And my work in the Point Lonesome Swamp is done when these boards are gone. And uh, once I recuperate from my uh, planet nibbling, it's off to the great state of Texas. Great state of Texas, here we come. As the airboats crank up on this gorgeous afternoon. Bye guys.